Hey, so if you want to build one of these gloves, one of the first things you'll want to do is hack these servo motors. So start by taking one apart and desoldering the existing circuit board. Then you'll need to build up one of these custom circuit boards. You can find the Gerber files for these in the instructions. Make sure you get the motor driver soldered on the correct way. In this picture, it's an older version of the board which doesn't have an indicator on it, but you'll see there's a small dot on that little black IC there, and that needs to be in that orientation. So solder on this motor driver and those two capacitors, and then solder it to the motor in this uh, orientation. Next, you'll need to trim down these leads on this potentiometer and solder some nice small flexible wires to it. Make sure they're short enough that it will all be able to fit inside the enclosure of the servo motor. Solder those into these three holes on the board as you can see in these pictures. Doesn't really matter what, orient, what uh, order you solder them in, uh, as you can fix this in software. Lastly, solder in a six wire ribbon cable, but something that's capable of handling, you know, half an amp or even a full amp, because those are your power wires as well. Uh, mark the one on the far left with a little black line, or if you have colored wires, even better. That's your negative side, and keep track of it on the other end of the wire. You might need to cut into the enclosure of the servo motor just a little bit so that all the wires can fit out. So if everything worked, your new board should be able to rotate the motor and track the position. One update on this new main board is that it has a buck converter, and so it can take a range of input voltages. And the servo board can operate at up to 10 or even 12 volts. So you can see this is the speed at five volts. Turn up to seven, eight, nine, ten, and it's not drawing any more current. So these wires should be fine, and the motor driver should be fine heat wise, and it should just be able to be a lot more powerful and efficient.